Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Immuno Project. We here at the Immuno Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, uh, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And earlier this week, I was reading, as I sometimes do, uh, the various Mishnas, uh, the sayings of the uh, uh, the Mishnaic uh, rabbis that are collected in Perke Avos, um, the ethics, the teachings, um, the chapters of the fathers, specifically chapter 1, Mishnah 13, where the sages of the Mishnah, specifically Hillel, says, He who makes personal use of the crown of Torah, halaf, shall soon be gone, sometimes uh, translated as he will quickly fade away. Later on, in chapter 4, Mishnah 7, the sages, specifically Rabbi Tzadok, says, do not make the Torah a crown for self-glorification, nor a hatchet with which to dig. And those of you who have seen my videos uh, know that when it comes to um, an unusual wording, that usually gets my attention. A hatchet with which to dig. A hatchet is not a digging tool. A spade, a shovel, you know, a hoe. That you use these to dig, to excavate. You don't use a hatchet. A hatchet is for, for chopping small things. What's... What's the Mishnah trying to teach us over here? Well, the person who uses it will fade away. And uh, again, don't use it for a crown, for glorification, or a hatchet with which to dig. Hatchet's not a digging tool. I think this is exactly the Mishnah's point. Um, it's... That's not what it's made for. You're using a hatchet to dig. That's not what it's used for. And you're probably going to damage a precious, valuable tool. When one attempts to dig with a hatchet, when one exploits the crown of Torah for his own personal interests, he takes inappropriate advantages. Uh, if he if he uses the Torah to take advantages in business, in politics, in your status in society, if that's the reason for it, he's misusing and damaging a precious tool. A word on the Hebrew word halaf, to fade away, to, um, to disappear, to, to be gone. And actually, the word halaf actually means change. Um, as you may know, I work as a mishgiach uh, in a chicken processing uh, plant, and very early in the process, the shochim, the, the shaykh, the ritual slaughterers, will use a halaf, a special, specially designed knife with which to slaughter the animal. Again, with the, the word meaning change, in so doing, it transforms the living into the dead. Also, similarly, it's used uh, to describe a banker uh, who exchanges money uh, from uh, euros to American dollars to Canadian dollars to Australian dollars to shekels, whatever. He's transforming it. He's changing it. It was um, Rabbi Yitzhak Bunim who explains that, uh, in a sense, the same idea applies to an in individual who takes personal advantage of the crown of Torah. One who misuses the Torah for his own personal interests is, in reality, changing, exchanging spiritual values for mundane vanities. He's transforming the matter from which the oil mabo, the world to come, is created into a mundane and ordinary currency, benefit. Similarly, our sages attribute uh, the destruction of Jerusalem to this form of abuse. 
the, some of the sages, some of the uh, kohanim, the, the priests in the temple, became corrupt, uh, God forbid. They, that's what happened. They corrupted the law, they corrupted halacha to suit their own personal needs, manipulating the Torah for their own purposes, for their own advantage. They decided questions of law to their advantage. What we often forget, and this is the short-sightedness of the Yetzirah, the, the evil inclination, stuff like this works in the short term. Okay, you take advantage of a person, you corrupt this, you misjudge this, you, you, you twist this, you, you bump yourself up. As a short-term advantage sometimes, there is. But eventually, the person who does this will face the consequences for impugning the integrity of our spiritual position. The, the Jewish people are held to a higher standard. We're supposed to be or legoyim. We're supposed to be a light unto the nations. And when we misuse the crown of the Torah, the, the, the Torah knowledge, for mere status or financial gain, political position, social position, you're misusing a precious tool for a purpose it was never created. You're using a hatchet to dig. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding uh, these videos of some benefit. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.